Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video we're going to take a look at another fundamental called splitting. So there's many ways to split a bar and I'm going to be illustrating one way, a method that I have found to be the handiest uh, to get a nice even split without a bunch of rag in the center. So as you can see I'm using a fairly wide slitting chisel. It's got a very narrow blade profile and it's about one inch in length or just a little over one inch in length. I'm going to work the piece back towards myself halfway through one side and then I'm going to flip it over and as you can see starting and working back towards myself with the chisel I'm going to line it up in the center and cut down through on the other side. Now the great thing about splitting a piece of bar stock versus having to put it on a bandsaw and actually bandsaw the bar stock is that you can do all this hot in the same operation and there is really not a limit on how far you can take this. You can split a bar for pretty far in length very efficiently like this. One of the other benefits is unlike a bandsaw cut you have a if you radius your slitting chisel on the back edge or the leading edges of the chisel itself you can create a nice round radius in the final cut the, the end of the cut which then prevents the bar from having stress fractures later on when you do something like turn this into a ram's head or a fire poker of some kind um, it really helps out so as you can see here I am just using the hot cut hardy in the anvil top there to start the split opening it up basically I'm cutting the webbing down between the two cut lines from the previous heat and we're just going to keep driving that all the way down into the bottom of the cut or just about the bottom of the cut and then that helps us alleviate having uh, again a heavy rag if you cut all the way down through a piece of bar stock all from one side you get a heavy chamfer in it and that may not be what you want when you're making something like a roasting fork for instance so this is just one method of doing it the other thing I'd like to point out here in making this split is I did not use a cutoff plate that is because I did not cut all the way through the piece that's the other advantage of splitting like this now like with anything in this fundamental series practice 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 so everything that you're seeing me do in this video you need to practice 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 so that means make a split like this cut it off do it again make a split like this cut it off do it again so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off the bar stock and you guys basically get the point here again the real goal of this whole thing is you want to take your time and make everything right and to be able to give yourself a clear track record of results that you can look back on and say okay hey I did something here that I like better than I did previously and when you do that it really does help you out and be able to have um, consistent results further on into the future when it really counts. So that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like, and I hope I earned your subscription. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next one.